everyone. As part of March into Reading, I wanted to share a special book with you. This book is titled A Big Mooncake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. I hope you enjoy. A Big Mooncake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. Little Star's mama laid the big mooncake onto the night sky to cool. Now, Little Star, mama said, your mooncake took us a long time to bake, so let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this big mooncake until I tell you to? Yes, mama, Little Star said, nodding. And Little Star remembered as she brushed her teeth, washed her face, snuggled into bed, and fell asleep. But in the middle of the night, Little Star woke up. She forgot everything her mama had said and only remembered the big mooncake. Pat, pat, pat. Little Star's soft feet tiptoed to the big mooncake. Would her mama notice if she took a tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Mmm, yum. But was someone coming? Little Star flew back to bed. The next night, Little Star remembered the big mooncake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Was the cake still there? Yes, it was. There was that big mooncake, an almost perfect circle, all alone and delicious in the sky. Would her mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum! Little Star flew back to bed. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big mooncake, of course. Would mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum! And the night after that, what did Little Star do? Nibble, nibble, yum! Night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big mooncake. Until one night, Little Star's mama went to look for the big mooncake. Where was it? It was gone. Instead of a glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. Little star, her mama said, shaking her head even though her mouth was curving. You ate the big moon cake again, didn't you? Little star looked up, her grin reflecting her mama's smile. Yes, mama, little star said, nodding. Now let's go make another one. A note from author Grace Lynn. The Mid-Autumn Moon Festival is my favorite Asian holiday and I've been trying to pass that love on to my young daughter. Luckily, she adores its most important customs, eating mooncakes and telling stories about the moon. Mooncakes with their molded designs enchanted her so much that we even looked at mooncake photos online. There, we discovered many different types, some flat and pale, just like the re real moon, she declared. And with those words, a seed of an idea came. That seed bloomed into this book. It doesn't have any roots in Chinese mythology, but I tried to imbue it with all the traits I associate with the moon festival, quiet, joy, love, and beauty. I hope it is another story you can share during that holiday or any night you wish to feel those things.